Trading has a lot of benefits, the biggest being it makes some Pokemon actually good. The catch being it needs other people. But luckily, there are quite a few in-game trades that are probably better offers than anything you'd see online. In X and Y's Silage City, there's a very generous Ace Trainer who wants to trade a Steelix for a mere Love Disc. You can actually find Love Disc within the city with nothing more than an old rod. And mind you, this is before the second gym. Maybe this guy's the reason X and Y were too easy. Hiker Sill, specifically in the Ultra Games, has probably the most realistic in-game trade out there. He trades a Phantom for another Phantom, just for the purpose of getting a Trevenant. But the one he trades you is named Tump Tump, and that just makes it automatically better. My Pokemon Ranch of all things has some baffling ones. Once you've deposited enough Pokemon into it, Haley will ask for a Leafeon in exchange for a Fione. Ew. I'd rather keep the leafy on. But also, once you deposit 999 Pokemon into the ranch, she'll offer a Mew for an egg. Yeah, I was doing the pseudo method here. You can have the rest. And in Lavincia and Scarlet and Violet, there's an NPC who wants a Pinkurchin, and she'll give you a Haunter. Now, for some, this may trigger flashbacks. But actually, this trait's legit. Not one Everstone in sight. Just you and your new Gengar. It only took 16 years, but now Mindy's finally dead.